Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay. And I was thinking, you know, I have never really done a video about any Comico comics. And I love doing videos about comics that I don't I don't feel like get any press or nobody's ever heard of or you know, the, Comico went bankrupt years ago and they they've dissipated. I don't know where they went. They're just not around anymore. Um I love the name Comico. They had a couple of great titles. So today I'm going to be looking at Comico's titles, Elementals. And my special guest action figures are the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Titus, which is actually a very underrated figure in my opinion. It's very, it's much cooler than it deserves to be. And we have Third Earth Panthro over here. He's almost out of the shot, but he is whipping his nunchucks around. Um, he's fantastic. Very hard to get on, very hard to find these days. Okay, so Elementals. Um, it's four people is the team, and as their name suggests, they each have the power of elements. Um, I, the art in this series is a little bit weird, but I like it. I really like the art in the series. And I have to commend um, Comico in the way they wrote these books. They are, I don't know, I kind of thought they were, they're like 90s, late 80s, early 90s hip you know, culturally kind of cool, but uh, just the art in them is great. The way they tell stories in them is great. Um, so basically, Elementals are four people, as I was saying before, before I derailed myself. Um, four people who... I'm going to derail myself again. Okay, Comico, and then I think these changed hands a couple of times uh, through the companies, but anyway... Four people, back on topic, um, who each one of them died some way, and when they were revived, they got these powers. And it's not like a huge plot point. I don't remember it ever paying off in like the story, but everybody comments how they're really creepy. Like, oh, there's just something weird about them, you know? Oh, they creep me out because they're dead people and uh, from all accounts in the books everybody can tell there's something weird about them there's something not right and they usually chalk it up to the fact that they have died um, these are not in any order I'm just throwing them out there um, I don't really like putting comics in order because um, I feel like it just gets like oh, one two three four yeah I'd, I'd rather kind of bounce around and, and see the different art see the different artists um, Whoever did their covers um, was, like, in love with this character. This is Fathom. She's got the water powers. And here's one of her solo issues. Uh, she had a mini series. She is highlighted fantastically on a lot of these covers. There's a duplicate. Try not to have... Du oh, there's another duplicate. Ah. But they draw her just spectacularly. I think it's great stuff. See, I'm looking for the elementals. But the big dirt guy, Monolith, is this little kid. This guy's got wind power. Um, she's got water power. And the other one has fire power, of course. The four elements. Um, but just a book that I really enjoy. And I wanted to share because um, I, I don't feel like anybody else ever really got into this thing. He's great. And the thing is, I think most of the other characters in the book, like villains that have superpowers and stuff like that, also have have either died or should have died but didn't. See, I, I absolutely... This is one of my favorite covers from the series. Great stuff. Just beautiful. And it, it almost looks like uh, Barry Windsor Smith. I don't think it is, but it does look kind of similar to his stuff. But I have a pretty big pile of them here. And uh, of course, like all of their families know that they're superheroes. Um, the government knows they're, they're under government watch and everything like that. So they're not like a secret identity team. They're, they're one of those, everybody knows who they are. Almost celebrity status, but not quite. Um, 
Mostly because they are, as as people say, they're creepy. Something is very wrong with them. And it's because they have powers, but it's because all of them have died before. And usually they died in the way that they got their powers. Suffocated by the earth is the dirt guy. The one lady drowned, she's the water ga gal. You know, it, it, I just thought they were great. And that's why I wanted to share them. I don't have a whole lot to say about them other than that. So I thank you guys for watching, and that's my story, and I will catch you later.